Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to day 77 of Commercial Diving School. We are in our last week before we go down to Ocala to the Deepwater Training Center. And today we're in the classroom all day talking about employability skills. So we're talking about our resume, talking about interviewing. Um, we also got our graduation list that's gonna get sent out by the school either today or tomorrow. And I'll talk more about that. And we also got a list of over 200 companies and their contact information um, today. So I'm gonna talk more about that too. Um, but first, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and leave any comments or questions for me down below. So, like I said, this is our last week. This was Tuesday. Um, so we only have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday left of this week and we got to pack up and we got to um, travel two hours south to um, the Deepwater Training Center in Ocala. Um, we're going to get briefed on that uh, before we go and anything that we need to know before going down there. So I'm going to let you guys know uh, what the rules are and what they say about what uh, life is going to be like down there. Um, and also... Uh, today uh, we uh, found out our grade that we got on our uh, final exam I got a 96 um, it seems like everybody got you know high you know 80s or 90s so everybody did really well on that test um, we are having one person I think getting rolled back and I think it was for and rolling back is basically you have to um, like the current module you're in you basically go to the module before either you didn't get enough dive time or your test scores just didn't meet up standards or something like that and you so you do have a possibility of rolling back also um, it could be because um, you have too many absences or tardies and that just builds up and you have to make that up um, by you know staying back i'm not sure the process on that like where you stay or if you pay more or anything like that i just know that um i have we've had people roll back into our class and we've had people from our class get rolled back to um, the newer classes but anyway i just want to let you guys know about that um but uh and our test scores and everything um uh, but also the graduation list so the graduation list is basically a list of our class and um, and it could be any class, but I'm just gonna talk about my class. Um, so my class, everybody's name on it, everybody's phone number and email, that gets sent out to, um, I think over 100 or 200 companies um, in the United States, um, and they get our contact information and they can reach out to us. Um, so the career services person said they're gonna start reaching out to us so um, start looking at our emails um, and start answering our phones um, and looking at our voicemails making sure that you know we're uh, you know getting in contact with those companies also we got a list of companies um, this is something that the school provides for us um, and uh, i'm not gonna name off the companies or show you guys the list or anything like that because number one, it's always changing, they said, um, because it's always getting updated or ch companies are you know, getting bought out or whatever. And number two, it has like personal information like phone numbers and names of people that work for these companies. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know um, kind of like general areas. Um, there's about, I would say 50 companies in the Florida area. So if you're wondering, um, you know, is the school going to, uh, you know, give us information on companies around the school, like in within the state of Florida? And the answer is yes. Like they'll give you information on who to contact at basically, I would say all the companies in Florida, minus the ones that they don't feel um, are, you know, safe enough or, you know, aren't, don't meet the standards. Um, safety wise like they've had issues with them in the past but there's also areas um, overseas there's about 20 companies um, there's also companies 
um, offshore. Um, so out of Texas and Louisiana, there's about you know 50 companies there. There's companies out of Texas. Um, there's companies out of Virginia, Maryland, uh, Pennsylvania, and N North Carolina. And then there's also companies out of the Southeast, uh, the Midwest, or sorry, the Mideast, sorry, the Midwest, um, like San Diego, Wisconsin, um, Ohio, um, Illinois, and um, Michigan, and there's uh, also the East Coast. Um, so I mentioned the Southeast, uh, Southeast, but there's also East Coast, and there's also the East. So there's all the different, basically the whole entire East of the United States. Um, in all, like even New York, there's a lot of um, companies out there. Uh, Massachusetts, Connecticut, like there's companies all over. And then you got the West Coast. Um, there's companies in Oregon, California, um, Colorado, Wyoming, um, and uh, even Hawaii um, and California in the Bay Area. Um, we are looking at a company today that actually sent um, the career services uh, person like an email saying that they need divers and he just gave us an example of um, what companies are reaching out and how do they reach out like what's the process so we got to see an email from an actual company that saying said they need divers um, and what area they're located in um, so that's something that the school provides for us um, they also let us know that um, have your resume and your cover letter on hand because you're going to be sending that out to companies that you're interested in. Um, we were told to make like take this list of companies, do our research on the company, you know, go to their website, look at their mission statement. What are they about? What do they do? How do you contact them? Do you apply online? All of these things are, you know, starting to get the gears turning in the right direction to be an employee. Um, and so we did a lot of uh, talk about interviews, like what to say, um, like exactly what to say, actually, like, um, you know, the, they're gonna ask you at an interview, uh, talk a little bit about yourself and you're gonna name off your skills, um, but stuff that is very specific to you so that you stand out in an interview. Um, and basically, how to conduct yourself and to say like, hey, what's the next step in the process to close out the interview? Um, and then uh, like basically we went through every single thing you could think of that has to do with a resume for commercial diving and an interview for a commercial di with a commercial diving company. So it was really good to take a full day in the classroom, going over slideshows, filling out, you know, uh, you know, classwork forms that they provide and everything, just so we can get a full understanding of, you know, what we're supposed to do to get the job. And um, so, like I said, they gave us the list of companies and everything. Um, also, uh, when you talk to a company, uh, it's good to get a name of who you talk to. I'm going to definitely remember that because um, say you called up a company and um, you said, hey, I'll talk to you next week. Definitely give us a call. You know, we'll have you come in for an interview and stuff like that. We'll set up a time. But say you don't get their name and then you go to call them back. They're going to be like, oh, well, who'd you speak to? Why? I, I, I don't remember their name. Well, there you go. You just wasted all that time. And they also let us know that um, it could be up to three weeks after the day that you get hired before you actually get a paycheck. So that means that you're going to school for all this time, right? And you're not getting paid, you don't have a job. There are part-time jobs that you can get. Um, they actually just came out with a list, but that is irrelevant now that we're going down to Ocala. Um, but anyways, um, I mean, most everybody doesn't have a job while they're going to school and they're also paying you know either out of their pocket 
and or loans to go to this school and then they get out of school and then that whole time that you're taking to get the job um, and then you finally get the job and then you have to wait another you know two three weeks to get paid so that it was a huge um, you know impact that made me really think like holy you know crap I'm and I have to do this like really 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 fast like as soon as I graduate I want to either have like a job lined up or you know um, just get it as fast as I can like get an interview and everything as fast as I can um, but basically it had me kind of nervous uh, but also excited but also really anxious to get a job because there's a lot of stuff going on um, especially the rest of this week there's a whole bunch of stuff going on for the rest of the week we got the wet bell we got the heliox dive in the hyperbaric chamber we got our orientation for Ocala we got to pack um, we got to get everything ready we got to go down there um, and then we got to do everything we got to do in Alcala. So there's a lot of stuff going on. And um, at this point, I just want to let you guys know how I'm feeling. And I'm feeling super anxious. Like almost every second of every day, I'm just like anxious. Like, you know, because of I know that everything is going to happen within the next month. It's just going to be crazy. So. Um, yeah, anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and leave any comments or questions for me down below. Um, thank you guys for watching again. Um, hope you guys have a great one, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.